Welcome back to another episode here on the Unobtained World. It is episode something, I think 27. Wow, 27, that's a that's a large number. Anyways, um, yeah guys, in today's episode, my plan is to continue the great quest for Unobtainables. Um, we are in 1.9.1 pre-release one, so there's some other minecart tricks uh, according to the wiki. Blue crab, thank you. Okay. <laughs> And uh, apparently we missed some minecart types. So we got kind of the ones that, that worked in uh, 1.9, but apparently we missed some that work uh, later on. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to, it was hopper and chest minecarts, I believe. So we have five of each. So let me get five hoppers. One, two, three, four, five, five chests. Yeah, so I... I actually am not too sure if this works, but it's a great thing to try out because, yeah, obviously you guys want to know what's going on here. So the most recently uh, released video as of recording this was my one year of unobtained. Quick note on that if you didn't watch it. Uh, basically, I was thanking the community for being so cool. Um, I was saying how it started, what what originated, the ideas that started it, um, where where it began, what you know, what I want it to become, and all sorts of stuff. And uh, I I was just basically saying that, um, you know, I, I was saying that I've created a new way to play the game. It wasn't very humbling of me, but it was something I did. So, <laughs> yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's craft up some minecart chests. Um, and we we'll just try one for now. So let's see what happens here. Yeah. Okay. There is the different variant there. Okay. So. And we get five of each. So that's cool. It's apparently just the hopper and chest minecart. So. Um, let's see, chest, chest, chest minecart, chest minecart, chest minecart. Okay, and this should results with hopper minecart, according to, once again, the wiki. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, five. So yeah, there we go. Those are the two variants. Great start to the episode, I do gotta say. Um, <laughs> wow, okay. So, you know what? wonder what happens when we ride this. Does it enhance its name? We shall find out here, right now. Let's go ahead and... Uh, do this. Okay, boom. Boom. Let's go. Whee. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. Did it maintain its name? It does. Okay. So these are like amazing. They're one tagged, but they're renamed almost. Um, and this is the old entity rideable name. That's pretty epic. So those can be duped and whatnot um, when we do some duping again. But uh, yeah, that, that's cool. So yeah, there's actually not a lot in, I think that was it for 1.9 and I didn't do it last episode because I didn't know about it. Um, I'm gonna quickly check the wiki, but I think we're gonna do the first update mid episode uh, that I've done. Uh, let me grab some food here. And uh, yeah, I'll be right back with uh, the new version and the new unobtainable and the new goals and all that good stuff. And we're in 1.10, just like that, guys. Uh, so, yeah, 1.10, nothing really after uh, 1.9. There's a few things that we missed way earlier, but I didn't know about them at the time. So, you know, um, nothing we can really do, given that the idea is to not update. Well, there's a goal, of course. Uh, like I said, the goal is for firework rockets. We need to get firework rockets rockets um because they don't have any duration but uh you know i didn't want to just you know craft up a couple firework rockets and be like okay we're done 
that would be the lame way to do it. So the cool kid way that we're gonna go ahead and do this is we're going to number one, build something over there and number two, build another thing over there. <laughs> so essentially what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna have a sugarcane farm right here. Uh, we're gonna be moving the one from over to there over to there and right there's gonna be a green sugarcane tower. Then we're going to go ahead and route that sugarcane up to a uh, rocket factory, which we're going to have a big rocket um, right there, kind of um, with the red and white. And we're going to probably build it out of wool. So that means we got to get some uh, a lot of wool. And that means we're going to have to get a lot of sheep. And that means we're going to have to get some sheep. So we have our work cut out for us in today's episode, but, uh, yeah, I really wanted to do something there. So I think, um, in terms of pathways, this one here is kind of the one that is kind of obvious to me is we just extend it over to there or take a path from there. But I think right here and go up to there and then have the rocket there main idea for this and i think that's really going to fill up that that hill there we, we may change exactly where it is but essentially it's going to be somewhere around here um and yeah it's going to be great but first we got to do the sugarcane farm i think that's step number one we're gonna have to take the sugarcane from there and build up a bunch of rows here and then build rows on top of rows and rows on top of rows on top of rows on top of rows it's going to be a full deal but uh i'm going to do it I'm going to design my own one uh, that will work. And yeah, I think it's time that we go ahead and get right into it. All right, so this is going to be a little bit of a me chatting to you over some gameplay action. I know you guys are looking forward to that. So essentially, um, I want to talk about the possibility and the idea of season three. Uh, so it's a, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. So trying to restart um, uh, such a big process is a really large undertaking, and I really want to do it in a way that uh, everyone likes it. Uh, and, and this is not to say that I am planning on doing a reset. I wanted to know what you guys think of a season three. Is that a good idea? Um, because season two, we're only halfway, but um, generally if I'm going to start a season three, I'm going to need to start planning for that um, coming up here and plan for how I'm going to end season two. Uh, personally, I don't want to see season two end because it's, it's really, I love the world. But uh, I, I'm willing to do a season three if enough people are interested in seeing even earlier in the game, uh, such as Alpha. Um, we'd probably start in Alpha, or mm, I don't think we'd go into the classics just because uh, upgradeability is going to be tough, and it's going to be really tough with Alpha. But uh, we're gonna we'll, we'll figure it out if we do it. Um, you know, we may even start with Beta 1.0 and work through the betas that way. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in the betas that we didn't do because we started in the pre-release for the full release so that's that's a thought so if you guys are interested in seeing a season three let me know i i um to me personally it would be an honor to do a third season but also it would kind of suck because i have to reset my beautiful season two which i absolutely love uh so it's a win-loss kind of situation here. I don't know really what the best choice is. I just want to know what you guys think. So please, in the comments, put down what you are thinking about Season 3. If you would look forward to Season 3, if you think two seasons is enough of this, if you think I should just continue Season 2, and when the we get to the most current release, whatever, whatever that is, probably 117 by the time that happens, um, we would just play it as a let's play and do as many interesting things as possible. Would you guys still watch that? I really need to know these things. Uh, comments would be great. Going into the Discord and discussing that with me would be great as well. Um, just getting me your ideas is probably the best way to tell me what, uh, what you're thinking. And that's going to help me out. So, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys get back to this episode of Season 2. Three, two, one, ta-da! Just as the sun is setting, beautiful. 
Uh, yeah, this here is the rocket I built, and I also went ahead took the sugar cane out of there and the gunpowder from my stockpile, and I went ahead and crafted up these rockets. No flight duration, so that's the pretty cool thing. There's no flight duration. If you look here, these are like creative rockets that you get nowadays. Um, let's just have a look at this rocket here. I think it looks pretty good. Um, obviously if you guys are here, let me just show you guys how the crafting of this rocket works because I'm sure you guys want to know just in case you want to do this yourself. It's quite self-explanatory, but, uh, if you're in 1.10 before they add duration to rockets and the next version, I think, um, all you gotta do is have some paper, some gunpowder, and all you gotta do is put gunpowder next to paper. And there you go, you get your own firework rockets um, without duration, which is amazing. Uh, yeah, and then, obviously, there we go. And if, say, I wanted to try it out with an elytra, just put this on here. Oh, man, I haven't flown, um, flown in this world before, so let's... Uh-oh. Uh, do firework rockets not work? Hold on. What? Okay, well, I guess, uh, if that's the case, um, yeah. So, I'm a little unhappy with the way the firework rocket works, or it looks, this, this one. <laughs> it's, I mean, it looks very similar, like, yeah, very similar. Honestly, it's a pretty damn good replica. Uh, yeah. Okay, we're going to keep it like that. I think that's good. Um, beautiful. Okay. Okay, I like it. You know what? If I want to change it, I'll change it. But I, I'm getting used to it already. So, yeah, guys. Um, next on the agenda is essentially... Oh, I got I to gotta show you my sugarcane farm. Right here, you can see where the sugarcane is and uh yeah it's basically being controlled by this daylight sensor here and so as daylight happens this will extend over course of you know signal strength and then you know as times happens this one will pulse pulse all the pistons this one will pulse and then pulse all the pistons this one will pulse and pulse all the pistons and by the time it's midday uh all the pistons have pulsed and it will go back down everything will grow like it is now, and then it, um, it will repeat the process over and over again. And the reason I have an extra long growing phase is so that each sugar cane can get to a roughly three tall. Um, that's the idea. And then this was just to kind of patch this up here. I had to take some down. Here we're gonna have to patch this pathway. We're gonna have to do a little bit of work to make this work here. And I'd like to decorate it a bit nicer because right now it's just exposed redstone, which is a little ugly. But yeah. Um, the other thing I need to finish is this tree, but we're not going to do that today. The other thing I did was I kind of really mined this out here. So now we're going to have to have a bridge here. And this one is, I think we're going to have it go straight through here. Right? Because it lines up perfectly. Uh, we're going to have this go straight through. But we're going to have a little exit right here. So you can just go do, 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 out into this pathway. So it's going to have like an archway here, more like here. And the pathway we're going to have to kind of redo. It's probably going to end up here. Um, that's just to kind of do that. And then this, so basically, there's going to be a roof here. And then you're going to go do, do, do. And if you want to go this way, there's going to be a little bridge that goes like doop. You go over that and you're going to be over here going towards the... Um, ravenous rabbit for this next goal we will not be sleeping anymore yep that's right no more sleep sleep no more sleep is for the week um yeah no no sleep why you may ask and that is because we need to get a storm to happen and to get a storm to happen you need to not sleep so we're not sleeping we are going full-on red bull mode oh, yeah okay so um, that's just so we can get a lightning storm to start at some point um, within 1.10 versions. We have quite a bit to do 
between now and 1.10.2. But um, yeah, something I do want to set up is something in the nether. I want to grab a spawner, which should be in this chest. No, this chest. Grab a spawner, and I also want to grab a spider spawn egg, and we're going to go into the nether and see if we can get a wither skeleton jockey. Alrighty, so uh, yeah, here's a little flat area here. Yoink, we're going to do it right over here. This is perfect. So essentially, we're going to have the spawner one, two up, and then we have one, two, three, four, boom. One, two, three, four, boom. One, two, three, four, boom. And one, two, three, four, boom. And then all we got to do is link this up like so. And uh, I think what we'll do is we'll have the bottom here be stone because it can't be destroyed in this. But then we'll put a glass layer so we can see inside, see if we've gotten one um, right here. So we'll do two, three, four, five. And all we gotta do is place this here. Place that there. Oh goodness. There we go. <laughs> um so I was thinking what could we do here? Could we just do this? And farm them or something? All right, so that is going to do it for that little section of today's episode. Um, I'm actually planning on not really doing too much else in today's episode. We actually did quite a bit. I'm quite proud of the progress we've made. Um, yeah, that the, getting the spider jockey is going to be a tough challenge. I'm actually quite worried that's not going to happen, so hopefully um, it will. <laughs> Anyways, um I do want to do a couple more things um, for today. One of them is I'd like to check out some stuff over at base here. Um, here we go. So one thing that has been a little bit rough is slime. And we're going to start needing it a bit more frequently. So yeah, let me go ahead and show you guys kind of where this is. We dug out the bedrock here and, you know, for now, it's actually quite a good, you know, section for us right down here. As you can see, it's exactly at Y0, um, so slime should spawn and it slid up well. So, and this is a slime chunk. I just don't know why there's no slimes spawning. Um, that's really unfortunate because I don't know why. Um, oh. Come on. Okay, I'll have to get that later. Um, so I would like to work on that at some point to get that a bit more fully fledged and a bit better. The other thing I'd like to do is probably work on kind of um, burnishing this area here and making this part of our base, this stronghold. Making this stronghold um, have some stuff in it. We haven't really been down here for quite some time since the beginning of the season. And, you know, this is where we had our spider farm, spider farm, sorry. Um, I don't think it works anymore. We could probably do something with it, but there's a lot of stuff we could do here. Um, you know, there's this, a lot of stuff that just, you know, we could remove and just make look a lot better. We could probably put some mini farms down here. There's definitely a lot of things that we could put down here that would make it look a bit nicer. Um, and, you know, plenty of farms that I could be building down here. And, you know, we, we could start a secondary, like, underground catacombs area in the stronghold style. Um, I mean, we have plenty of area to do it. We just turn this into, like, a central room. We, we definitely redecorate it. 
but I think there's some potential with making this place uh, look a bit nicer. Um, there's some of our old items, but we don't need that. Well, let's we'll grab some of it. Um, and I really do want to make the underground area of this nicer, and I'd like to have a better entrance ex instead of this like one block area here. <laughs> Um, I'm thinking maybe we put the entrance going that way um, it, and it'll probably come out somewhere over in that area, <laughs> which would be tough, but we can do it like that. But having it right here is a bit tough. Um, although, yeah, there's a lot of ways we can get down there. So let me know what you guys think about that project. I'm kind of excited to do it a bit more building and world upgrading projects um, and let me know what you guys think of season three ideas and stuff like that let me know all your ideas and thoughts i love reading comments i will always read comments I reply to the ones that i like and uh, think are interesting so make your comments interesting anyways see you guys later and i'll talk to you in another episode of unobtained or afterlife shout out afterlife go watch afterlife anyways goodbye